Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video, we are going to be trying out 14 different flavors of Kit Kat. Not just any Kit Kat, Japanese Kit Kat, yes. So we have a lot to eat and a lot to talk about, so let's get started. So this place operates in Lahore and I got these Japanese snacks from there. On their website, it is mentioned it is halal, on the packaging it does not. So they are selling it as a halal product. Itadakimasu! Kit Kat cheesecake flavor, mini size. Today I present you with a Marvel in Japanese chocolate confections, baked cheesecake Kit Kat. These are specially made Kit Kat bars ready for baking only found in Japan. Baking a regular Kit Kat bar won't work. How does it taste as is? Wonderfully creamy chocolate with the crunchy wafer biscuit texture makes for an irresistible combination. It has a whisper of cheese flavor mixed with beautiful white chocolate on crispy wafer. Now the Japanese really have taken Kit Kat chocolate to a whole new level. Super sweet. And this was chilled. I, I did put it in the fridge. But you have to chill this, bake it, chill it again, and then eat it. Okay. But you know, like eating it like this, it tastes like creme brulee, like a cheesy creme brulee. Is there such a thing? We have to test the baking method as well. I have to go to the kitchen and do that. Okay, so we're here in the kitchen. Now here I have the microwaves. Now my microwave has a grill option and I'll, I will show you inside. See, that's the grill. So I'm going to be heating my Kit Kat in the microwave on the grill setting. Okay, the grill is kind of high, so I need to put the Kit Kat uh, kind of close to the grill. So I'm going to be adding some height by using some plates. Okay, I hope this brings it closer to the grill and it doesn't topple over. I think it's stable enough. Okay, I'm going to be adding the Kit Kat to this. See, everything fits perfectly. Inshallah, nothing will happen, nothing will fall off. Now let's just bring in the Kit Kat from the fridge and heat it up. Okay, there it is, there's the Kit Kat. <coughs> Putting it on top. There you go. I don't know if it's gonna work. If you have an oven, use an oven. I do not have an oven. Ooh, okay, that did something. Now two to three minutes, two to three minutes. Three minutes. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Five, four, three, two, one, and oof, so ominous. Did it work? Smells like heaven. Oof. Oh, it's very hot. Okay, let me take it out. Okay, I took it out. And here it is. It's very hot. Oof. Ow! Let it chill a bit and then we're going to feast. Can you hear that? Ooh, melted chocolate at the bottom. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I don't taste cheese though. It looks like cheesecake. It doesn't taste like cheesecake. Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Interesting. It kind of tastes like a cheesecake, especially like this, oh, this toasty stuff. It looks like that creme brulee kind of thing going on, 
but it doesn't taste sweet i mean it doesn't taste as sweet as that but i don't know cheesecake um i wouldn't say cheesecake my brain really wants to say cheesecake but my taste buds say otherwise my taste buds are just screaming out it tastes something like creme brulee it tastes like something white chocolatey and that's about it and this crispy grilled part on top tastes like caramelized sugar so i don't know why from where they're getting cheesecake from i am so rude bismillah rahim oops it's coming to you mm, how is that but in terms of innovation and in terms of making a bakeable kit kat japanese like seriously kudos so genius with endless amounts of rich imaginative flavor ideas and amazing packaging designs are you bored of the regular kit kats you find in your local grocery store try this you won't be disappointed kit kat yuzo salt flavor mini size First up, we have the salt and lemon, which are a popular summer flavor combination in Japan. Now, the salt is meant to replenish the salt you lose when sweating, while the lemon gives you a refreshing mouthfeel. If you think summer desserts are just ice cream, think again. Now, the combination of lemon and salt just might sound a little unusual, but this offers a cooling sensation that tastes great during hot weather. This is a sweet yet refreshing snack you will immediately acquire a taste for. This offers a very tart white chocolate based lemon flavor with a very distinct sea salt note. Mm. A little bit salty and lemony, but like a sweet lemonade. Ooh, this is, this is great really good Kit Kat chestnut flavor mini size now Japan actually has all four seasons indeed their sensibility for seasonal changes is a truly important part of the culture seasonality is indeed very strong especially in the flavors of Kit Kat and a few things say autumn like chestnuts now this format has white chocolate covered wafers but this time with chestnut paste spread between the layers now at first at first at first taste, there doesn't seem to be much to this flavor, almost seeming bland, but giving it a moment, and the flavor still falls flat. I am not a fan of this flavored Kit Kat. Mm -mm. Um, mm. Honestly speaking, it's just more like of an aroma of chestnut that I'm tasting rather than actual chestnut. Gomen asai. Barely any chestnut flavor and more just like eating plain white chocolate. It's on the sweet side more. Not a bad flavor, but too sweet. Kit Kat Orange Chocolate Flavor Mini Size This flavor features a perfect blend of smooth milk chocolate and refreshing orange. It's an iconic flavor combination that makes for an utterly delicious Kit Kat. I love chocolate and orange as a flavor combination. It has a simple milk chocolate outside and very flavorful layers of orange cream between the wafers. Now the blend of the sweet milk chocolate and citrus zestiness go very well together. Chocolate associated with fruit somehow makes mm. them healthier the orange is not that strong you know like how chocolate orange is like intense orange flavor it's a very light flavor but it's really good thank you for not putting white chocolate just a traditional chocolate Kit Kat Yuzo Matcha mini size this Kit Kat combines two of the favorite Japanese flavors which are the Yuzo and Matcha now, fusing the earthiness of matcha with the refreshing citrus notes of yuzo makes for a flavor we have never experienced before. It is hard to imagine more Japanese flavors than yuzo citrus and green tea, and the Kit Kat mini yuzo matcha combines both of them in the most delicious way. I love green tea flavor, it's really good. With fresh yuzo cream between its wafers and then a coating of fragrant matcha chocolate in the wafers. 
the taste transports you right into the middle of a tea ceremony. Love it. Love it. This citrus flavor, it's not lemony. It's, um, well, it is lemony, but it's, um, it's, it's very sweet. Made with less sweeteners, you know, to appeal to more adult taste buds. This Kit Kat is absolutely great. It combines the two flavors I am a fan of, and these flavors come together to create something absolutely fresh. And yes, you can absolutely substitute your break with this Yuzo Matcha Kit Kat. I love matcha taste. It's, I know it's an acquired taste, it's very bitter, but you'll get used to it and you'll start liking it. And I am actually really liking matcha flavor. And with the lemon, oof, this is really good. Kit Kat Strawberry Mochi Flavor, mini size. Ichigo Daifuko is a classic Japanese sweet enjoyed in the winter, Japan's most popular season for strawberries. It's usually made with a whole strawberry, covered with red bean paste, and wrapped in mochi. To transform it into a Kit Kat, Nestle Japan added azuki powder and bits of strawberry to the white chocolate, and a super thin layer of anko layered into the wafers. At first bite, you can taste a bit of the tartness from the strawberry, and it blends quite nicely with the red bean and white chocolate. The white chocolate is laced with tart dried strawberry pieces. Okay. Now this is very interesting. It's not sweet, and definitely no fake taste of strawberry. Daifuko literally translates as great luck. Visually, this Kit Kat is very appealing because of the white chocolate, which is dotted with this pinkish fruity strawberry. The bits of strawberry in it are very nice and chewy, and they're not sweet. The harmony of fresh, sweet strawberries and anko mochi is really pleasing to the palate. And the white chocolate. <laughs> I'm so sick of it at this point. Kit Kat apple pie flavor mini size. Apple pie and Kit Kat. Color me intrigued. Now this was released as a special Halloween flavor, which I guess explains a ghost on the wrapper. But why is the treat purple? What's going on? The purple color is supposed to provide a surprise effect when opening the Kit Kat and also very associated with the Halloween like orange and purple themes. Now dressed up in Halloweeny violet colored white chocolate, it promises all the flavor goodness of an apple pie in a Kit Kat. The sprinkling of cinnamon and the sour notes of tart apple. It does make for a perfect combination of aromatic and crunchy at the same times, but the flavors are very muted. I don't know what it's supposed to be like, apple pie? It's okay, but you know like how apple pie tastes? Come on. This is like a, a lighter version of that. Why does this taste so familiar? Ooh! This tastes like that apple crips, crips, crisp crunchy granola bar from Nature Valley. That's what it tastes like. It has like that uh, apple, cinnamony, pie crusty kind of flavor. Kit Kat autumn sweet potato flavor mini size. Autumn in Japan means many things when it comes to visuals. Now the most obvious element is the red maple leaves, which is the mumiji. When it comes to taste, one of the most powerful are the sweet potatoes, Satsuma Imo. So naturally, this was a flavor that Nestle had to pick for its autumn lineup. No fancy colors here, just a bar of subdued cream-colored chocolate. This mini treat has its wafers covered in white chocolate and layered with sweet potato paste. I have absolutely no frame of reference here with the Japanese sweet potato. Now, the taste was very light and it was incredibly sweet. I mean, too sweet for my taste. I don't know. I'm getting the hint of something starchy, but the white chocolate is just so overpowering that I'm not able to really taste the sweet potato. I have tasted regular sweet potato, and the smokiness has that warmth and richness in it that makes you enjoy the winter season. Unfortunately, that smokiness of the potato is missing in this. It's just so sweet, and the aftertaste of more sweetness, I had to drink water to cleanse my palate. Gominasai.
Now, after all, sweet potato isn't exactly a standard match with chocolate. Hint, hint. Kit Kat Cranberry Almond Flavor, mini size. Maichi no Zetaku, which is luxury edition, earns its namesake from its higher quality ingredients and serving size of one larger bar instead of the standard mini double bars. Chunks of whole almonds and cranberries are baked into a rich dark chocolate wafer to create this premium delicious snack. Probably the fanciest Kit Kat you'll ever eat. Now it's topped with real almonds and cranberries combined with the crunch of the wafer and the sweetness of the milk chocolate. You've got yourself a gourmet chocolate experience. Great. Absolutely amazing. The cranberry and almond on top, it gives such an amazing texture to the wafer biscuit and the chocolate. Yep. Now, the fruity flavor of smooth milk chocolate pairs very well with the cranberry that brings a little tartness and a slight chew, and the almond providing a nutty flavor and a bit of crunch. This is great to satisfy those sweet tooth cravings with some guilt-free Kit Kat. The dark chocolate coating topped with toasty almonds and chewy sweet bits of cranberry on top of the crunchy wafer looks like crackly winter fallen leaves trodden underfoot. Hmm. Kit Kat Party Ice Cream Flavor, mini size. Kit Kat Party Ice Cream is a white chocolate-based Kit Kat with vanilla ice cream flavored chocolate and cream. The chocolate is also mixed with crunchy waffle, waffle. waffle bits to make it taste like ice cream in a cone. Now, winter ice cream is quite the trend in Japan. As the indoor temperature rises in winter, the consumption and market of winter ice is on an expanding trend. The yummy wafer piece has a sweet note like cheers on its wrapper. Now the white chocolate outside features ice cream flavor and flakes of fooey teen, while the wafers are flavored with cream powder. Overall, it's very sweet and creamy and the crumbs of fooey teen add quite a nice texture. That's weird. It tastes like funfetti, but it tastes like a coconutty funfetti. <laughs> really good. I like this flavor. Take a relaxing break from your day to soak up the sweetness and creaminess of this party ice cream flavor. This Japanese candy is a treat that brings a smile to one's face. I definitely understand why these Kit Kats are mini. The flavors combined with white chocolate can only be tolerated in small doses. Kit Kat Onsen Red Bean Flavor Mini Size now on the front of the package, you can see the drawing of a cute animal soaking in an open air onsen bath. Kit Kats from Japan are here and they're bringing a special flavor of onsen manju, which translates to hot spring steamed buns, which are traditionally filled with a rich and sweet red bean paste. You can find this flavor at hot springs across Japan. The cream mixed with azuki red bean paste is sandwiched between crispy wafers and wrapped in manju steamed dumpling flavored chocolate. This is really one of a kind Kit Kat. It doesn't get much more Japanese than onsen manju Kit Kats. Onsen manju are Japanese steamed buns you can usually only find at mm. Japanese hot springs. Very earthy taste. Um, you know what? If you ever had tamarind imli, it kind of tastes like that. And I'm getting like this Imli taste. And the sweetness, this is actually a very good uh, balance again. The balance of flavors are on point. They're a popular souvenir snack to enjoy at the hot springs. Traditional Austin Manju features a soft doughy exterior and a sweet red bean filling. Now this is something very difficult to describe as it is something that's super specific to Japan. If you have been to Japan and did the whole hot spring experience and tried out the onsen manju and what it tastes like, someone like that might explain it way better. But to my untrained taste buds and having never experienced it, I can only say whatever I can really relate to. So it does taste very earthy and it tastes like imli. Kata kata. With the sweetness, perfect. With the red bean paste inside, like the red bean flavor is really good. Kit Kat Hojicha flavor, mini size. Hojicha is the Japanese green tea roasted over charcoal, so it has a beautiful smoky flavor. This variety infuses hojicha roasted green tea into the familiar Kit Kat for a unique experience. Loaded with exquisitely roasted hojicha green tea cream between layers of classic flaky wafer and tea-infused white chocolate, 
These rich Nestle Mini Kit Kats provide a soothing and aromatic pick-me-up. Known for its smooth nuttiness and deeply invigorating flavor, the fragrant taste of high-quality hojicha leaves works wonders with the light snap of Kit Kat's trademark wafers, filling and flavoring the velvety white chocolate coating with these lusciously sweet treats. Again, I don't know how hojicha tastes like, but I can taste the flecks of it in the chocolate and the nutty cream spread, and it tastes very earthy. I mean, what am I tasting? I, I don't know. Roasted? It's roasted something. Like roasted soil? And the aftertaste is this mellow bitterness that just lingers forever. I can definitely taste like the raw taste of tea but this is like roasted I think the sweetness of the chocolate is really helping balance this out Oof, I, I'm sorry I don't like this flavor Kit Kat dark chocolate flavor mini size chocolate dark as pitch now this is popular with more mature snackers Nestle's Japan's dark chocolate Kit Kat offers the rich bitterness of cocoa in full force with every Kit Kat, you'll find a very mildly sweet, more pronounced cocoa bean flavor surrounding an irresistibly crunchy wafer. Now, this dark delight is the less sweet version of the regular Kit Kat. It can be quite bitter, but if you love your chocolate darkest night, this is a Kit Kat for you. These Kit Kats have a dark secret. They're not tasty. I'm just not a fan of dark chocolate. But... Yeah, no. I have had dark chocolate from other chocolate brands, which are rich and decadent. In other words, the perfect mix of sweet and bold. But these are not the bars that you want. They're so brutally bitter that I was unable to eat it without gagging. I think after having so much white chocolate and so much sweetness, I'm actually liking the bitter taste of the dark chocolate. Uh, the, the dark chocolate. I need, I need something like sweet to get rid of that taste. Kit Kat Matcha Flavor Mini Size This Kit Kat combines the popular sweetness of the white chocolate with the more sophisticated, sharp and bitter taste of matcha. Now, let me tell you, it doesn't take more than one bite of this delicious chocolate biscuit snack to see that this is a match made in heaven. Now, indulge in the essence and rich taste of matcha green tea, which features wafers smothered in rich green tea matcha flavored chocolate. I absolutely love matcha. Matcha's natural bitterness balances very well with the very sweet chocolate. Mm. Yep, there it is. The signature bitter taste of matcha. Oh, there it is. I love green tea. I love the matcha flavor. And it's like a very, very good balance between like the very bitter matcha and then like very sweet chocolate. Great. It is a sophisticated combination that will really stand out as an unusual and a very Japanese dessert or snack. Really enjoy the mild sweetness, rich bitterness and sharp aftertaste. Red Sea Mall right here in Jeddah. The shop's name is Afdal Mafil Yaban. So the best of Japan. It is on the ground floor. I think the gate number is B4. And this is Nippon Psycho. You can stop them anywhere here. Okay. Ooh. So this is the Kit Kat. I'll do a zoom in. A bit more of a zoom in. Because this is the green Kit Kat, cannot find it anywhere. You cannot find it anywhere here, only in this shop. It's five rials. Ugh. Wait, five twenty-five. I think. I'll show you this tea, tiny Kit Kat. Is five twenty-five. I know it looks like a six, but it's not. It's a five. So yeah, and I got two of them, plus the what? Now this is the dark green tea Kit Kat, or also called as the dark matcha Kit Kat, strong. It is a very popular Japanese snack sold in Japan. Now this is one of the two different versions of the matcha green tea Kit Kats. 
Dark Matcha Kit Kat is the bitter version and the packaging has a darker shade of green. The regular Kit Kat biscuit is covered with a layer of fine white chocolate blended with real matcha powder. And for the dark green packaging, the matcha flavor is very strong. Now, either case, if you really love green tea Kit Kats, try this extra dark version as well for a more intense, complex, and powerful matcha taste. These strong matcha Kit Kats have a coating of rich matcha flavored chocolate. It has a sharp, deep flavor and leaves behind a rich, bitter aftertaste that pairs very well with the sweet chocolate. Actually, it didn't taste that bad. This is the first initial reaction to the bitterness and, um, oh, like that, that seamy taste. It is less bitter than, you know, actual dark chocolate, which is good. So then why has Kit Kat become so popular in Japan? Its popularity is in its name. Kit Kat in Japanese is pronounced Kitokato, which actually sounds very similar to the Japanese phrase Kitokatsu, which translates to you will surely win. The word Kito in Japanese means surely or absolutely, and the word katsu means bound to win. Due to Kit Kat's closeness in sounds to its popular phrase, the brand became synonymously associated with good luck. You can also see on the packaging it has a space to write a message of encouragement and affix a stamp. These Kit Kats would be given as a good luck charm, telling the recipient that they will surely win and do well in their endeavors. Final thoughts on these Japanese Kit Kats. Now, these Japanese Kit uh, Kit Kat. Otona no Amasa is a variation on the traditional chocolate bar produced by Nestle. While Otono no Amasa means sweetness for adults, the series actually offers flavors that can be appreciated by everyone. Now, in Japan, the word Otona, grown up, adult, is often used in the food and beverage industry for products that are created for a more mature and sophisticated consumer. Sweetness for Adults is a special series that has less sweetness and more flavor that adults would enjoy. So here I tried all the flavors of the Japanese Kit Kat. So, arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you so much for watching. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post. Leave a constructive comment and share this video. I really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, love is fun. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.